Good afternoon, everybody. I hope everyone's doing fantastic today. Welcome to part two of Amtrak Vacations National Park Series on one of my personal favorite destinations, the Grand Canyon National Park. Let me introduce myself. My name is Nick Bennell, and I will be your host today. I have proudly been with Amtrak Vacations for four years now, and I am incredibly excited to share this information on the Grand Canyon with all of you today. Please stay tuned to the end of the broadcast as we will have a great exclusive discount for all attendees, as well as one lucky person will win a $100 Amtrak Vacations gift card at the end of the presentation. So definitely something to look forward to. Now, you might ask yourself, why Amtrak Vacations? Well, there's several reasons why. First off, Amtrak Vacations is a bucket list experience. Last year, we surveyed our travelers from all around the world as to why they chose Amtrak, and the number one answer was that it was a bucket list trip. It is quite the experience to add to your list. Room to roam. With Amtrak, there's absolutely no need to be confined to a seat. You can freely move amongst the train, visit the cafe car, the dining car, or even my personal favorite, the observation car. Less hassle. Please let us let handle everything for you. We can package your rail, hotel, sightseeing, transfers, and meals all together for you. No need for you to piece it all together. Let us be your one-stop shop for your rail vacation. City to city service. With Amtrak, you typically go from downtown to downtown. There's absolutely no need for a long airport transfers. We get you into the heart of where all the action is much faster. Satisfy your hunger. Now this I'll go over in a little bit more down later in the presentation. I just wanted to remind everyone, however, that whenever you upgrade to any of the sleeping accommodations on Amtrak, your meals are automatically included. You definitely won't want to miss that. And lastly, flexibility. One of the best parts about our packages is that they are completely customizable to your liking. Please, let us plan the perfect rail vacation for you that you want. Now, I really like showing off this map because it really amazes me as to how extensive Amtrak service really is. In fact, Amtrak services 46 out of the 48 contingent states in this country, with the exception of South Dakota and Wyoming. Did you know that Amtrak last year set its ridership record? Over 32.5 million people traveled with Amtrak last year, and this year, it's even expected to be higher. Another great thing about Amtrak and Amtrak Vacations is you can choose between 500 Amtrak stations to start or end your trip. You can even fly to the start destination or fly home from your final destination. Like I mentioned, it's completely customizable, so it's up to you. Another incredible, incredible part about Amtrak is there's no pesky middle seat. Amtrak works with rows of two, which allow you to be as comfortable as possible. There's no need to be sandwiched on board our trains. On that note as well, there's no long TSA lines at our stations. There's no need to wait in two, three, sometimes four-hour lines just to take your shoes and belt off. With us, you can get right onto the train as fast as possible and start your journey. Lastly, there's absolutely no need to spend your days sitting in traffic. Have you guys ever been so excited to go on vacation and to get to your destination, but you had to sit in hours and hours of endless traffic? Well, with Amtrak, there's absolutely no need for that. We can get you to where you need to be as fast as possible, traffic free. I like to highlight some of the different types of vacation packages we do offer because we have so many different types of packages that can cater to anyone. Our, the first are our independent rail journeys. These are some of our most popular packages that we offer. These trips range from one week to 10 days to even 16 days. These are our multi-city, multi-state packages that are incredibly comprehensive. Our family adventures, which are the perfect trips for the whole family, from grandparents to parents to children, there is something for everyone. So definitely keep that in mind for if you're gonna be traveling with your families. Our rail and sail packages, which these packages combine the wonders of Amtrak rail travel along with a cruise up to Alaska. Rail getaways, which are the perfect two to three night single city break trips. I like to recommend these trips for long weekends as they fit the perfect amount of time 
and they are definitely, definitely just marvelous. Lastly, our national parks, which we'll be covering today. These trips are quite popular as we have many partnerships with those hard to get lodges in the national parks. So keep that in mind, we can help you with national parks. If you do want to go ahead and confirm and book one of our trips, this is how you would go do so. You can first call, give us a ring at 1-800-268-7252, and we have a magnificent reservations team that's on standby awaiting your call. You can visit our website at www.amtrackvacations.com, or my personal recommendation, you can visit your local travel agent to help assist you with this. Now, without any further ado, let's visit the Grand Canyon, shall we? The Grand Canyon is one of the most visited national parks here in the United States. In fact, last year, they had over 6 million visitors. That's quite impressive. And did you know that the Grand Canyon is actually considered to be one of the seven natural wonders of the world? It's definitely an impressive place, so there's no doubt about that one. You might wonder, how, which Amtrak route do I take to get to the Grand Canyon? Well, that answer is simple, the Southwest Chief. This route runs from Chicago to Los Angeles, or vice versa. Last year, I personally have done this journey, and this train route is amazing, as it passes through the Midwest and through the beautiful Southwest of the United States. The stop you'd want to get off at to start your Grand Canyon journey is Williams, Arizona. Williams is a really great little western town, and it can be seen as the gateway to the Grand Canyon. So this is where your real Grand Canyon adventure starts. In Williams, you would actually spend, we actually work with the uh, Grand, famous Grand Canyon Railway Hotel. This hotel is excellent as it's the completely train themed resort, and it's actually the starting point for the Grand Canyon Railway. Let's take a look at some pictures of the Grand Canyon Railway Hotel, shall we? Now, one really cool thing I really like to point out is if you look at the top right corner, they have an excellent, excellent indoor pool. Now, this is great because it's a huge hit for kids, so if you're traveling with children, you definitely want to check out this swimming pool. Along with all the amenities of a pool, they also have a, the Grand Depot Cafe, which is the restaurant at the property. They offer breakfasts, lunches, and dinners at the restaurant, and they are buffet-style meals where they always have some magnificent options. I can tell you when I went there, they had a carving station with roast beef, and it was marvelous. So definitely well, worthwhile checking out. Now, after we have breakfast at the Grand Depot Cafe, we will catch the famous Grand Canyon Railway, which is the train that will take you up from the south rim of the the Grand, of the Grand Canyon. This is an antique steam train and it passes through the largest Ponderosa forest in Arizona. The scenery en route to the South Rim is absolutely gorgeous, so definitely something to look forward to. Let's take a look at a picture of that antique steam engine, shall we? Look at that. It is excellent and it really ties in with the Amtrak travel where you get two different train experiences on one trip. Absolutely splendid stuff right here. On board, the Rocky, on the on board the Grand Canyon Railway, they provide tons of entertainment. The train, the journey itself is just over two hours long, and while you're on board the railway, they provide tons of entertainment. Like I said, that's great for the whole family. From Wild West shootouts to Western train heights to onboard music, you really never know what to expect on board the railway. After our journey on board the railway, we'll finally arrive into the Grand Canyon Village at the South Rim. This is the best area of the Grand Canyon as it has some of the best views of the canyon and offers most, of, most to do. In fact, this is the most visited area of Grand Canyon National Park, so you definitely want to check this out. One of my personal favorite spots up there is the Lookout Studio, which is this excellent observation tower that is situated right on the edge of the canyon. This spot really offers some of the most stunning views of the canyon, so you won't want to miss that. It's, go it's breathtaking. You have to check that out. For accommodations in the South Rim, we work with quite a few of the lodges up there. Our most impressive one is the El Tovar. Now, the El Tovar was built in 1903, and it is actually one of the most majestic and well-known lodges in all of the national parks. And the best part about the El Tovar 
because it's actually located right on the edge of the canyon, offering its guests an amazing, amazing experience. Let's take a look at some pictures of the El Tavarn. Now, if you look at the top left corner, you see a meal. The really neat thing about that is the El Tavarn actually offers a gourmet dining experience while you overlook the canyon, which is honestly an experience that can't be missed. I absolutely love it. So just take a look at those pictures for a quick moment. One of our most popular lodges up in the up in the South Rim is the Maswick Lodge. Now this lodge offers an authentic rustic experience that people crave at the national parks. And one really neat thing is that it is only steps away from the edge of the canyon. So it's right up in the action. Let's take some quick looks at some pictures of this. It really is a fantastic property. Definitely uh, well worth staying at. Now for sightseeing up at the South Rim, we have quite a few different options with this. Our most popular option is a motor coach rim tour. This is a guided tour that is just a few hours long and is definitely a nice introductory tour of the Grand Canyon. This tour highlights some of the best viewing spots at the South Rim, as well as some of the history of the Grand Canyon. It really is the perfect tour for the Grand Canyon. For our more adventurous, adventurous travelers, we even offer a guided helicopter tour of the canyon. This tour really gives you some breathtaking aerial views of the canyon. It is absolutely incredible. Once again, to book one of our great, great trips to the Grand Canyon, you can give us a call at 1-800-268-7252. And like I said, we have a magnificent, magnificent reservations team on standby awaiting your call. You can visit us at www.amtrackvacations.com. Lastly, my, always my recommendation, give your local travel agent a call or a visit, and they'll be more than happy to help you out and plan this trip. Now let's go over some of our top packages for the Grand Canyon, shall we? One of our most popular trips is our Grand Canyon Getaway. Now this package is, is great because it includes quite a, quite a few different things. So with it, it's a four-day, three-night package where you would do two nights at the famous Grand Canyon Railway Hotel. You would get one night of hotel at the Grand Canyon South Rim at either the Alto Var, the Maswork, or one of the other great properties we offer up there. You'll receive round-trip Grand Canyon Railway tickets to the South Rim. You'll get that motor coach rim tour that includes a lunch at the Maswick Lodge after the tour. And you'll also get a dinner and a breakfast included at the Grand Depot Cafe. And the great thing about this trip is it, it can originate at any of those 500 different Amtrak stations that we I mentioned earlier. And the neat thing too, you can upgrade to the sleeping accommodations on board the train where your meals will be included and you'll have a private room with sleepers. So definitely keep that in mind. Now, we do have <clears throat> packages set up for this. And in fact, the most popular departure city east of the Grand Canyon for this package is in Chicago. Now, we, in fact, we have this package already inc that includes the rail round trip from travel from Chicago. So what it would be, it's very, very similar to the tour we just went over, as it includes the motor coach rim tour of the Grand Canyon with the lunch, the two nights at the South Rim, and it also includes the night the two nights in Williams and the one night at the South Rim. The main difference about this one, as it, as I mentioned, it already includes the round trip rail from Chicago. Now, if you notice, the rail is in coach seating, but like I mentioned, I would always strongly recommend upgrading to the sleeping accommodations as it gives you a private room with beds, your meals, and it's just an overall more comfortable experience. Now, this is going to be really impressive. If you're looking for a real complete national park experience, this package is perfect for you. It is our Grand National Parks. This package features the Grand Canyon, Yosemite, and Glacier National Park. Now this is a 14-day, 13-night package that starts you, off in, with, starts you off in Chicago on the overnight train to Williams, where you'll do that one night at the Grand Canyon Railway Hotel with the round trip rail on the Grand Canyon Railway. You'll get that one night up at the South Rim at either the El Tovar, the Maswick Lodge, or another excellent property up at the South Rim. 
and you'll get that motor coach freedom tour of the south rim after our night in the south rim you'll take the grand canyon railway back down to williams where you'll have dinner at the grand depot cafe and then you'll hop on board the southwest chief for a quick overnight train to los angeles and from los once you arrive into los angeles you'll change over to the coast starlight now what I like to mention to you guys is the Coast Starlight is magnificent. It, last year it was in fact voted the most scenic train in North America. In fact, it was voted the past two years the most scenic train in North America. So you absolutely won't want to miss this. And you'll take the train up to one of my favorite cities here in the US, San Francisco, where you'll do two nights in a hotel. While you're in San Francisco, it will include a hop on hop off sightseeing tour where you could check out such sites as the Golden Gate Bridge, Pier 39 in the famous Fisherman's Wharf in Union Square. And when you're in San Francisco, you'll in fact get a full day guided tour of Yosemite National Park. Now this tour is incredible because it will visit almost all the major sites of the park and you'll get to check out the Valley of Yosemite. And you'll even do a stop at one of my favorite stops in Yosemite, the Oahene Lodge, which is a really, really fantastic hotel property there that you, get, that you need to check out. After our two nights in San Francisco are all done and our guided sightseeing tour is all set, we will continue on the Coast Starlight up to Seattle, Washington. In Seattle, the home of the original Starbucks, you'll do one night in a hotel and you'll actually get tickets to the famous Space Needle, which can be seen as Seattle's most famous landmark. It was actually built for the World's Fair. Now, you won't want to miss this because the top of the Space Needle offers some really, really breathtaking views of the city and the surrounding areas. So absolutely worth checking out. Now, after our night in Seattle is all done, we'll take a quick overnight rail over to um, Glacier National Park on board the Empire Builder. Glacier Park is magnificent. It's in fact the biggest of all the national parks here in North America. So it's absolutely stunning. And while you're in Glacier, you will do three nights at the Glacier Park Lodge, which is enchanting. It's an absolutely beautiful lodge. And the great thing about it, it's only 205 steps away from the train station. And while you're at Glacier, you'll get two of the most comprehensive tours of the park. The first being the Big Sky Circle Tour, which is probably the most complete tour of Glacier, along with the Two Medicine Valley Boat Cruise. Now, this is a boat ride along the base of the Two Medicine Valley, which is one of the most stunning areas of the park. So you won't want to miss that. And then after our three nights in Glacier are all done, we'll take the overnight train again on the Empire Builder to Chicago, and that's where our tour will conclude. Once again, some recaps about this specific package for this. This tour is a 14-day, 13-night trip that includes a guided sightseeing tour of Yosemite National Park, a hop-on, hop-off of San Francisco, Tickets to the Space Needle, the Big Sky Circle Tour, as well as the Two Medicine Valley Boat Cruise. And of course, you get the guided sightseeing tours of the Grand Canyon. Along with this, you get eight nights in the hotels and five nights on board Amtrak, which I can highly recommend. Once again, you can always upgrade to the sleeping accommodations so you have a private room with beds and your meals are included. This trip is quite exciting and quite popular. Now we mentioned earlier uh, round trip trains out of, from the east and how Chicago is the most popular destination. Well, for our folks coming off from the west coast, here's the perfect package for you guys. It is our Rails to the Grand Canyon, which departs round trip out of Los Angeles. What this trip is, is you would do the quick overnight train from Los Angeles to Williams, where you'll do end up doing two nights. You'll get a round trip, you'll do two nights at the South Rim. That will also include round trip rail on board the Grand Canyon Railway. You'll also get that motor coach rim tour of the Grand Canyon that does include the buffet lunch at the Maswick. And it's then you'll, after your two nights at the South Rim, you'll take the Grand Canyon Rail, Railway back down to Williams, and then you'll take the Southwest Chief on the quick overnight train back to Los Angeles. Once again, here's a quick recap of that package. You get the Grand Canyon Railway from Williams to the Grand Canyon round trip. You'll get the motor coach rim tour of the Grand Canyon South Rim with that buffet lunch at the Maswick Lodge. Two nights of hotel accommodations at the South Rim at the El Tovar or the Maswick or another great property up there. 
You also get two nights on board Amtrak where I can definitely recommend that room upgrade. Now, if you're looking for the most complete Southwest experience, this is a magnificent package. It's our Grand Canyon Explorer. Now, this trip tackles both New Mexico and Arizona. So let's jump into this one because I love this one. You'll start off the trip in Albuquerque and do one night. Now, Albuquerque is a really neat city. It's actually the most populous city in New Mexico, which is known as the Land of Enchantment. Definitely, definitely a cool city. I had the pleasure of checking it out last year. And I loved it. So I think you guys will really, really like it too. After our stay in Albuquerque for one night, we will do the Southwest Chief from Albuquerque to, will to Santa Fe. In Santa Fe, we will do two nights on board the train, and or two nights on board a hotel property. And while we're there, we'll have the guided walking tour of Santa Fe. Now, I love this tour because it's a, it's a neat little walking tour that's just a couple hours long, and it really highlights some of the key historical sites in Santa Fe, and they have such a rich history. Another interesting fact about Santa Fe as well, they have some of the best restaurants I have ever been to, so that just alone is worth going to there for. So after our stay in Santa Fe, we'll continue on the, on the train and head over to Williams. We will do one night in Williams at the Grand Canyon Railway Hotel. We will take the Grand Canyon Railway up to the South Rim, and where we'll do one night at the South Rim at the Maswick or the El Tovar. And we'll also include that motor coach rim tour. Now, I do want to mention that there's on this particular trip, it's only one way to the Grand Canyon on board the Grand Canyon Railway Hotel. On the back end, you take a transfer down to Flagstaff. Now, Flagstaff is fantastic. It's actually neat because the famous Route 66 passes right through Flagstaff, so it's actually something else worth checking out. And while you're in Flagstaff, you get a, a full-day guided Jeep tour of Sedona. Now, the Jeep tour is great because you actually get to check out Old Bear Wallow and the Soldiers Pass Trails, which offer amazing views of Sedona and the Oak Creek Canyon. On this tour, you'll be able to see the painted rocks and painted deserts that Sedona is known for, so you definitely want to check that out can't be missed. Some highlights of this package. Once again, you'll get the guided walking tour of Santa Fe along with two nights there. You'll get one-way rail on the Grand Canyon Railway to the South Rim, and it will also include the guided rim tour of the Grand Canyon South Rim. You'll also get a guided Jeep tour in Sedona, and it would, uh, includes one-way Amtrak on coach. Now, one thing I do want to point out to you guys on the Southwest Chief Train, where the predominant most of this travel takes place, like I said earlier, I did this travels, and it was absolutely magnificent. I saw some of the best scenery, so definitely won't want to miss that. To book any of these packages that have you have just seen, once again, you can give us a call at 1-800-268-7252, and our reservations team is on standby awaiting your call. You can visit our website at www.amtrackvacations.com or my personal favorite, contacting your local travel agent. And they're absolutely great. Always visit your local travel agent. Let's talk about some of those accommodations that I've mentioned quite frequently throughout this presentation because it's magnificent what is really offered on board Amtrak. We offer several different level, levels of sleeping accommodations. And whenever you upgrade to the sleepers on board the trip, your meals are automatically included. So not only do you get a private room with beds, your meals are included. The standard accommodations on Amtrak is coach seating, which a lot of our trips are already, it's already included standard coach travel. The coach seats on Amtrak are quite, quite comfortable. Now take what you know about an airplane seat and kind of picture the complete opposite. The Amtrak seats are about two and a half times the size of your standard airplane seat. And the really neat thing is, instead of like an airplane seat where it only goes back an inch, the Amtrak seats recline at a 45 degree angle, giving you maximum comfort. If you did want to upgrade to the sleeping accommodations, the most popular type is a roomette accommodation. The roomettes are a private room where during the day there are two seats that face each other that have a big picture window in between. And at night, they convert into bunk beds. Now, with this accommodation, your meals are included, and you would be able to have priority with getting on board the train. 
Now with this, with the accommodation, I just want to point out that the bathroom would be located right down the hall, making it a completely, completely easily accessible. If you did want to, you know, upgrade to even more of a exclusive type of accommodation, here is our bedroom accommodations on Amtrak. The main difference between the bedrooms and the roomettes is that the bedrooms, in fact, have their own private toilet, sink, and shower in room. Now, during the day, instead of two seats facing each other, it's more of a sofa-style seating. And at night, they convert to bunk beds. And the room is a little bit bigger than the roomettes, but the main thing is that it has its private toilet, sink, and shower. Once again, with these, your meals are included. Now, along with the sleeping accommodations, there's so many other cars on Amtrak that you can utilize. If you look at the top right corner, that's, as I mentioned earlier, the observation car is my personal favorite. I can tell you guys, I, last year, I might have mentioned it earlier, I did the Southwest Chief myself, and there were points, especially during the New Mexico and Arizona stretch, where the scenery, you had to be in the observation car. You saw wide open desert plains with mountains in the background and plateaus. I had never seen a plateau, so it was really impressive to me to see that. In fact, there were points that I felt like Clint Eastwood was gonna ride alongside the train because it really gave you that, that Western feel. So it was, it was great. I highly recommend especially that route. As I mentioned earlier, your meals are included on board the train whenever you have a sleeping accommodation. And I mentioned that it's one of my favorite parts of on board the train because you can really, really be, be impressed of what can actually be provided on board the train as far as dining. Now take what you know about airplane meals and once again, Picture the complete opposite, because the dining on Amtrak is fantastic. You know, for breakfast, you'll have waffles, pancakes, omelets. For lunch, you'll have burgers, grilled chicken salads, pasta dishes. And for dinner, you can have chicken, uh, seafood, and Amtrak's signature steak, which is my personal favorite on board the train. I think I had it two nights in a row when I rode the train last year. And the great thing is it's all cooked to order. And they, Amtrak, in fact, has an onboard chef that freshly prepares all these meals. It truly is a restaurant on wheels as you got the white tablecloth, and you, it's, it's really excellent. So I highly recommend eating on Amtrak and getting the sleeping accommodation. It makes your trip a whole lot more enjoyable. To look at all the other packages we offer, because I only scratched the service essentially today on our packages for the Grand Canyon, to check out all of them, what you'd want to do is hover on, go to our website at AmtrakVacations.com, hover over the Destinations tab on the top left. There'll be a drop-down menu, and you want to hover over the National Parks options, and from there, click on the Grand Canyon, and we have tons of options for there, so you definitely want to check that out. Once you find the package that's perfect for you, you can give us a ring at 1-800-268. 7252 and our reservations team is magnificent they'll be more than happy to assist you with that you can visit our website and book from there amtrakvacations.com or once again my recommendation always to contact your local travel agent they'll be more than happy to help you out along with all this we offer tons quite a few of everyday discounts first off if you're a AAA member you save 10% off your rail portion on our vacation packages by showing your AAA card. So definitely utilize that if you're a AAA member. They're excellent. If you're traveling with a child ages 2 to 12, they actually receive a 50% discount on the rail portion of an Amtrak vacations. Seniors, travelers that are over age of 62, receive 15% on the rail portion of their Amtrak vacations package. And lastly, active mili military personnel their spouses and their dependents receive 10% discount on the rail portion of an Amtrak vacation, just as a thank you. So thanks guys every, for that. Now, here's for the most exciting, one of the most exciting parts of the presentation. Here's that exclusive attendee discount that I mentioned earlier. This one is if you upgrade to a sleeping accommodation on any of our rail packages, you will save yourself $100 per couple. It's a magnificent, discount and to utilize it you need to book by March 12 so definitely act act on that one because this I can tell you is a really great deal now guys don't forget to download your handout here about some of the trips that I highlighted today and get some of that information about them 
And now is the time. If you have any questions, feel free to input it into the questions box, and I will be more than happy to assist you with this. Now it's time for the most exciting part of the presentation, the announcement of the $100 Amtrak Vacations gift card winner. Today, the winner of the gift card is Jan Westerkamp. So congratulations, Jan. Awesome job with that one. And for everyone else, thank you for joining us. This has been a magnificent time. I love going over the Grand Canyon. I really hope you guys all enjoyed it. Now is the time where I want to open it up to all of you to where if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I will be more than happy to assist you guys. And I do see here we do have a question from Mary asking about vegetarian options on board the train. Well, Mary, Amtrak absolutely caters to vegetarian diets and also kosher diets. So if you, you know, fall into either, either one, we've got your back with that. I do see a question here from Joseph in regards to what's the best time of year to visit the um, visit the Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon is always perfect to visit realistically throughout the whole year because um, each season really offers different experiences. I always like to suggest to our travelers aim for you know a couple weeks after Labor Day as kids start to go back to school, people start going back to work, and the real summer rush is over. Plus, the weather is perfect, so that would be my suggestion. I see here, I do have a, a question from Jan about purchasing sleeping accommodations that your meals are included. Yes, they are included, and you, they, in fact, with this, they, you do get the, and she's asking if you can order off a menu or if it's a limited menu. You can order off the menu that's on board the train. There's no limits as to what meal you can have, and the menus are pretty extensive on Amtrak. One little fun fact I'll share with all of you with the meals, with the menus on board the trains, the menus are, you know, catered to the train to what regions they pass through. So take, for instance, I rode the Southwest Chief last year. The menu actually had more of a kind of like a southwestern flair to it, whereas if you were traveling on the Empire Builder, which is the train in the very north of the country, you might get a salmon dish on board the train. Amtrak's neat like that where they try to keep it, you know, fitting for whatever route you're taking. Another great question is can you get off and spend the night with relative and catch the next train that's by Karen yes you can absolutely do so with that like I mentioned earlier the trips are completely customizable we got your back and want to provide the best trip possible for you now another question I hear I see here from Mike is that we act as if these trips can be extended once again absolutely I can tell you with the Grand Canyon getaway package a lot of people actually will extend their stay up at the South Rim by two, maybe three nights to get that full experience. Now, I see here another question by Brittany Bartlett. What, what beverages are included in the sleepers on the accommodation? So uh, when you have the sleeping accommodations, first off, you have bottles of water awaiting you in your room as they're complimentary. Down the hall, there's coffee and tea at, that you can access at any point. And during your meals, you'll be able to have soft drinks, coffees, teas, and juices, you know, be able to have during your meal. Alcoholic beverages, however, would be, would be out of pocket. Now, I do see here I have a, a question from Carol that if you do want to start in Albuquerque, you pick up the Southwest Chief. The Southwest Chief generally leaves in the um, late afternoon to get over to Williams, Arizona. And that's one of those things where, as well, if you're living in a destination that it passes through, we could start you there and you don't have to stay in that given destination, especially if you live there. Any more questions at all from everyone? Ah, I do see here that Marty did have a question about the difference between the cost and the bed, of the red room and the roomette. Honestly, the cost can, can truly fluctuate in, by ranges. Pricing with Amtrak, especially on board the train and with the rooms, is all predominantly based on availability. So the further out you look, the more availability there will be, meaning you get the lower cost. Any more questions for me, anyone? Yes, I see a question from Clarence. Does Amtrak offer portage for guests? Amtrak offers a service where they'll be able to, and it's called the Red Cap service, where if you do need assistance with your luggage, getting on and off of the train, assistance in the station, Amtrak will be more than happy to assist you. And they do have really, really great baggage uh, and luggage um, rules with there. 
In fact, Amtrak allows you to bring two pieces of carry-on luggage on board the train per person, as well as two pieces of check-in luggage up to for per person. I see a question from Brittany in regards to is there coffee and tea included in coach accommodations? Unfortunately not. But however, it is available to purchase in the cafe car along with snacks and lighter fare. I have a question here from Carol asking if the bookings are going on for January 2018 yet. Yes, they are. Our packages range generally up to 11 months in advance to the day. And I do see here we are out of questions for today. So once again, I want to thank every single one of you. You guys have been fantastic. Please, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us or your local travel agent. And we look forward to seeing you at the Grand Canyon soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.